You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. And uh, this is Strikers 1945. This is the first game of the series. I played the second one a few weeks ago, I guess. Now let's go ahead and try the first one. Ah. And of course, as usual, first thing I do is waste one of my bombs. It's games like this that makes me enjoy vertical uh, shoot 'em ups. Oh. Right, luck run out that one. Might as well. I hate how the power-ups sometimes seemingly try its best to avoid you. Interesting robot design there. Okay, so yeah, even if it's the first game, it's still a lot of fun. I mean, the sequel is better, of course, but it doesn't mean that the first game is not. I'm trying to remember, though, if this actually came out for the PS1. I think it did. But like I always say, if you're playing it on a classic, it's better to load up your uh, your arcade ROM file than the PS1 ISO on your thumb drive. It saves space and no loading times. And you get a more arcade. Uh, I mean, it's closer to it's closer to the arcade. Usually, you just lose out on uh, like a few extras, like uh, like the option mode or something, to customize your game further. Okay, I'm doing bad right now. May might as well waste my bomb there. Man, these robot designs are really something else. It's too bad we don't 
I mean, it doesn't get the um, proper exposure. Like, there's no model kits or something. Or even just a simple artwork. Or maybe I just haven't seen it. Maybe it's in like, uh, on a console port or something, on an extras uh, menu. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. This is Strikers 1945 arcade version, the first game. And shoot 'em ups are a love it or hate it thing. I definitely, I definitely love it. So I'd say this is worth putting on your storage on whatever device you're playing. And that's it for this video. You're watching 8-bit days a week. Thanks. Like, comment, and subscribe.